What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today as you can see we are going to be giving y'all a guide on how to defeat the first raid boss in Pal World right here with Bellinor. This thing is absolutely crazy at those higher levels with some insane amount of health and it's moves just absolutely annihilate all your pals all of your health so it is a fun little first event that we got here first boss so we're going to kind of cover everything y'all need to know with summoning this kind of the best pals that you should use and there is some little tips and tricks definitely that'll help with using your base for this as well so, starting us off right here, this new pal, Bellinor, is a Dark-type pal, so Dragon-type moves will be most effective against this, as well as I'm pretty sure that all of its attacks that it has are Dark-type moves, from what I noticed in both the normal version as well as the hard version that I have been through so far, it was all Dark attacks, so Dragon should hopefully take less damage from those as well, which will be nice so try to stack out your team with as much dragon types and dragon damage as you can, which will really help you out. Now, this does come from the new item, or I should say the new structure that we have called the Summoning Altar. So this unlocks at level 33 and costs 100 stone and 20 palladium fragments. Now, the important thing to know about this Summoning Altar is... Once you summon one of the Bellinors from it, it will get destroyed and you will have to build another one. So it is one summoning altar for every single time that you do a raid battle. So that is just something to be wary about. But it isn't a too crazy thing since it is going to have to be at one of your bases. You will, in my opinion, have to almost make a new base area that is specifically for these raids just because at the higher levels like that Libro as well as the one above the Libro, which I haven't been able to get to yet because it's a drop from that Libro version, but it will destroy 95% of your base with ease as it moves around and does its attacks. So you don't want a bunch of your chest, a bunch of stuff like that laying around the area for your base. So I would suggest putting it in a couple different areas, someplace that is super flat that you won't have to worry about mountains getting stuck on anything like that rocks in the area so it is a little thing that kind of does make these raids interesting that we almost have to use one of our bases now for raids but since they gave us that ore farm kind of takes away the need for an ore base so that is what i turned my old ore base into a raid base now you may be wondering how to actually summon this beast right here so there are two different versions that you can summon yourself by finding these slab fragments so there are normal slab fragments and then libro slab fragments you will need four of these which once you get four of them you can go to your production line your crafting table and make one of the big full slabs to actually summon that pal so the lower normal ones come from the dungeons that final chest the lower level dungeons. so i was doing them up to about level 25 and i was still getting those normal slabs fragments to summon a level 30 bellinor so like i said run right to the end of these dungeons defeat that boss Grab the two chests right before that crystal at the end, and there is a chance it'll drop one of those fragments. So once you get four, go craft it, and then you can take it to the summoning altar and actually start your raid. Now, the thing is, with these two different raids, they are definitely way, way different. The first one, like I said, with those four normal fragments, when you make it, it'll say that this is a, a normal raid. Summon this strong beast at level 30. So it isn't too too crazy the first one i definitely blew through without too much of trouble it has 294,000 health so nothing too insane especially when you can use your base to your advantage so like i said having that in an area that is super flat you can bring out 
all 16 of those pals that you can have working on a base to fight this boss on your base. So it's not like it's just you and one pal like it is in those tower battles. It is a just chaos in the middle of your base going on. So that's why a lot of things get destroyed and you do got to be careful with kind of how you pick and choose. It is a little hard for you to see the boss sometimes with all of the things going on the explosions visual effects like that so i did turn down the damage numbers in the ui a little bit because it was getting just a little too hectic on my screen but like i said that level 30 normal one that you can get from those normal fragments is a pretty easy one to summon got right through it and it dropped us some pretty good items it gave us some xp manuals like i said to give yourself or your pals some xp it gave us an extra large or a huge i should say dark egg which actually evolved or uh, incubated into a bellinor so every time you beat it you will get a new egg of that version of the pal as well now we also got a pal core now this raises the level of a pal by one so it's basically like a rare candy give it to it at 48 it'll go right up to 49 no problems with the last thing that i got from it is the new ancient core it is a, a legendary material that we actually use to craft some of our new things like the egg incubator that's electric controls the temperature as well as those ability glasses so from the normal version it looks like you get one of those ancient cores and from the libro that harder version which is level 50 you can get two of the course so it is a nice little farm and grind to get enough of these because you do need five to craft those glasses five to craft the egg incubator so you're going to need to defeat a good amount of these bellinors to be able to get enough of those ancient cores but when you do start beating that level 50 with that consistency by collecting four of those green slabs so the libro slabs you will see the difference it summons a level 50 bellinor which in my opinion absolutely just destroyed me i needed to go in with some higher pals i figured with how easy it was with my 16 pals at the 200 194,000 health on the normal level 31 I could get through the level 50 which had health of only 450,000 only 150,000 more didn't even didn't even come close to touching it the first time I tried it so it is a big juicy increase from the first one to that Libro and the same kind of drops come from the Libro with XP manuals the pal cores as well as the ancient cores and the egg but you just get more of them as you go as well as those rewards for the Libro it has a chance of dropping a full slab which is the ultra version of this Libro which it has 900 100,000 health haven't been able to get that to drop yet for me but i've seen some people go through it and it is absolutely insane the pal is above level 50 and just annihilates everything in its path the drops are going to be insane for it once we get to it but it is a very fun raid in my opinion and it is a good little grind like i said it's not just go out find the pal beat it catch it whatever and then you're done you gotta go out you gotta get your fragments you gotta get four of them just for one single time to summon then you gotta go craft your slab take it to your altar summon it defeat that pal get your rewards rebuild the altar go get yourself four more fragments craft yourself a new slab so it is a, a little process to get them but i think it is totally worth it the boss fight is very very fun like i said try to bring out those dragon pals as well as dragon moves as much as you can chill it will be a very good option for you when you are fighting the boss just because if you have it in your party it turns your attacks with your weapons into dragon type so it is a nice little addition that we got right there for that so definitely definitely chill it is a good option to have in your party and then any of those good ones jetragon you got your jorman tide ignis your orzerk all of those that have the dragon in it try to throw those out make sure that they got all the dragon moves on it by going into them and editing their moves out it is like i said that level 51 that libro is a challenge in my opinion so definitely go into it ready 
go into it with a good base set up nothing else around besides your pal box on a nice flat area so you can just make sure you are in a safe spot you're not going to fall off a ledge like if you had it up on a mountain your other base or something like that your pals can get stuck in weird spots if it's like that as well so the flatter the area for your raid base the better but i do like how they did it for sure instead of just going out defeating it once and then you're basically done you gotta grind this out to get the best of the best which is what i am looking for for this end game or raid content if you will so let me know what kind of pals you get for this with the, the passive skills hopefully you're able to grind these out for the remainder until we get our second boss but this one is absolutely a blast to go through gonna be grinding it out the rest of this week with the masters coming up gonna be watching that as well so i appreciate all you guys for the support truly means a lot to me thank you for coming back to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button button and bell if you haven't helps out the channel and you won't miss out on any of the content here for these raid guides huge updates that we got as well as the destiny content that i cover so again i appreciate all you guys i'll catch you in the next one peace